Okay. You know what this is? Another one of these. That's about all I do. Being attentive to the needs of others might not be the point of life, but it is the work of life. April 15th, 2021, in case you haven't got that down yet. We don't really know what the point of life is. That brings up all sorts of esoteric questions we could get into that would usually just bring us anxiety. <laughs> Trying to figure out <clears throat> the meaning, the point, the purpose of it all. And the answer to that is going to be unique to everybody. The quote says that being attentive to the needs of others is not the point of life, but it is the work of life. <clears throat> Learning not to be selfish, not to be self-centered, not to focus on me, 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 my, 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 I, I, I. It's the work of life. When we're small, we haven't matured. We don't understand our brain networks. <laughs> Just can't comprehend. We are the center of the universe. Like people used to think that the sun was the center of the universe. Or that the earth was the center of the universe. And everything revolved around us. Um, when we're small, we think we're the center of the universe. And everything revolves around us. As we grow and mature, hopefully we realize that we are an integrated species. You are entirely unique, special, and there is only one you, like a snowflake. But like a snowflake, there are millions upon millions and millions of individual unique snowflakes. You are special and unique just like everybody else. You learn that we are all as important as each other, all as unique as each other, that no one is above or below you. You are not above or below anyone else. And we're all somehow integral into how this whole system of humanity works. No matter what your station, position, influence is or is not, you are integral into how it all unfolds. And so is everybody else. You grow to realize that the world does not revolve around you. Everyone has the same human sufferings, the same human needs, the same human feelings, both good and bad, the same human fears, the same human hopes. the same sense of isolation and separateness, even though we're all connected. When you grow up and realize that we're all connected, interconnected, everyone is of equal importance, everyone is of equal uniqueness, um, there will be never another you, there will be never another other, <laughs> and that no one really is other. You realize how important it is to contribute 
you grow in empathy, not sympathy, but empathy for the hardships of others, preferably all others, regardless if they are like you or not. You want to not see others suffer. You want the happiness of others as much as you want the happiness of yourself. The meaning of love, to truly love someone, is that you want them to be happy as much, if not more, than you want yourself to be happy and fulfilled. You want them to have a good life even if that doesn't include you. You want them to succeed. You find joy in their successes. You feel the pains of their suffering. We can't rescue anyone from themselves. Like no one can rescue you from yourself. But we try to change the pains of the world in our own little way. And we try to contribute in our own little way. <coughs> it is the work of life. Because it is the work of growing character. It is the realization that you are not the center of the world. That it's not all about you. Though you are the top priority in your own life, that's because you are the only one responsible for your own life. Because no one else can be responsible for you. Our parents were for a little while when we couldn't be responsible for ourselves. As we grow older, and more able unless we are unable for some reason we become responsible for our own lives and everything that goes along with our own lives and so does everybody else and no one would be where they are if it wasn't for the help of others if it wasn't for the invention of others if it wasn't for the creations of others, if it wasn't for the advice and guidance and assistance of others, if it wasn't for the friendships of others, if it wasn't for other people helping us to get where we are, no matter where that is, we realize we're an example. We realize what we do impacts other people. We realize that they experience pain and suffering and all the things that we do and we don't want to inflict that on them. <coughs> Learning that the world, the earth, yourself, is not the center of the universe. Just an integral piece in it. And walking the appropriate balance between being a people pleaser and truly developing empathy and contribution and care and acceptance and tolerance and knowledge about other people, genuine interest and care for those close to you and people at large. It's the work of life because it is the building of character. How you view the world at large and the people in it. How selfish or selfless you are. How I-centric you are. How much you care about other people and understand true empathy, true love of other people is going to determine your actions in a big, big way. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry for the coughing. 
it's going to determine if you have see the world as fearful and terrorizing and evil and bad and threatening and dangerous and other groups of people as threatening and dangerous whether you look down on others whether you lash out whether you see other people as as threats to your position whether you compare and contrast whether you devalue others and all of those things whether you are intimidated by the world or you see it as loving whether you can form healthy relationships with other people whether you contribute how you treat others whether you're able to forgive anything from what you pursue as a career what you do with your free time how you relate to other people how you perceive the planet how much fear and anxiety you bear on a daily basis. This is not a race, it's not a competition. It's a cooperative thing. <laughs> and learning to recognize the value of others, all others, can be frightening because it diminishes, appears to diminish the value of yourself when you realize that you are on the same level as anyone and everyone else. It's a big hit to the ego, but it's a critical understanding and it takes effort to grow up and realize that. You are no less important than a CEO, an Olympian, your favorite movie star. You're no more important than anyone on the street asking you for change. Anyone in a recovery center of any kind. Anyone with a mental health condition. Even an incurable one. You are no more or less important than anyone in prison. You're no more or less important than anyone of a different religion, culture, financial standing, color, gender identity. Job title, whatever else you want to throw in there, body type. That doesn't make you less when you recognize the value of others. It makes you of good character. It lightens your load. Reduces your anxiety, reduces your fear raises your intellect because you gain knowledge instead of having ignorance that causes you prejudices and fear. Grows your empathy. <coughs> Grows your character. It makes you a better you and a happier you. When you realize that Everybody matters as much as you, no matter how young or old, no matter who they are, where they've been, what they do, what they've done. You can't want what you're not willing to offer. And if you want people to love you, if you want people to forgive you for your mistakes, you want to be seen as worthy and worthwhile, <coughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> you have to be willing to offer that. And you have to come to understand that everyone, everyone needs exactly this, what you want. 
regardless if you know them or not regardless who they are and what they do unless they're sociopathic or antisocial and they don't know empathy they don't need those things and that's considered um, an illness for a reason so it's the work of life because it's the most important thing you can do for yourself and for everybody else is to learn to truly empathize to truly care to truly listen to truly love other people it takes work to learn not to be selfish we were born selfish we grow out of that and into better people being attentive to the needs of others might not be the point of life but it is the work of life do the work it's worth it good morning goodbye